I'm Kashan and you are watching The Book Archer. We are gonna be talking about my most anticipated reads for 2019. There are a few books that I'm going to be talking about, 10 to be exact. The majority of these come out within the first three months of the year. But I think that I'm going to do these videos quarterly. My most anticipated for read for the year comes out later on, but I'm not going to talk about that one until the end of the video. The rest of these are in no particular order. Let's jump right into it. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. If you're a fan of the Grishaverse, if you enjoyed the Grisha trilogy, then how can you not be excited? If you haven't read the Shadow and Bone trilogy slash Grisha trilogy, do not pick up this book. The entire existence of this book is spoilery. It's spoilery for book two and book three in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. So read that trilogy first. But I'm so hype, y'all. Like, I love this character. She's not my favorite character. My favorite character in the Grishaverse is the Darkling forever and ever. But I'm really excited to see how this character works as a main character. We haven't seen him as a main character before in any of her stories. So I'm excited that he's getting his own duology and even more excited that the entire Grishaverse getting adapted on Netflix. She announced this right before the release of this book. So now I can read this book and be thinking about how they're gonna turn the entire Grishaverse into a TV show. That means we getting Six of Crows, we getting Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, we're getting it all. I'm so excited. This comes out January 29th, so I will be getting my hands on this as soon as it drops. The next book that I am excited about, On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Before the book even came out, The Hate You Give, I was caping for The Hate You Give so hard. I will leave a link down to my The Hate You Give book review for a long time. After everybody else started to read it and love it, I started to question like if I had just overhyped it in my head. But then I went to see the movie when it came out in October and I just had all of the feels all over again. Oh, that book, oh. I'm really excited about On the Come Up because I don't think I've really fully read the full synopsis. Follows another character that's kind of in the same universe as Star. She's an up and coming rapper and her family is a family that comes from poverty. So there's a lot of pressure on her to really help them get out of the struggle. So I think this book is supposed to touch a lot on the socioeconomic aspects in America, especially being like black in America. So I'm really excited for Angie to kind of dip her pool into these type of topics. Angie said that this book is her hit em up, her hit em up by Tupac for all of the um, hate you give haters. And if you if you have ever heard the best diss record of all time, then that is saying something. I can't wait to see how, because I want to know. Like, please tell me how this is hit em up, because I need to know. I need to know. This drops February 5th, and this is for sure getting read in February. The next most anticipated release that I am waiting on, the fourth and final book in the Three Dark Crowns, Quartet. This is one of the only newer fantasy series that I have absolutely really been enjoying and loving. I love this fantastical world. It's so different and it doesn't make me feel like I'm in a totally different universe. There is just something very very unique about the world of Finburn. This is one of the few fantasies where I like all three of the main character dynamics and I don't have a favorite so that makes it a really fun read to me and I like everybody's perspectives. If you haven't started this series then I would really highly suggest starting with the audiobook Book, just because there are three different aspects three different cities in th in a fantasy world so it can be a ton to digest when you first start out but I have gone back between the audiobooks and reading the physical books and I enjoy both of them but if you haven't checked out this series please do it's really one of my favorites that book doesn't come out until the second half of the year so it won't come out until like between September and November and it's currently untitled so don't know the release date don't know the title but I'm reading it. The next book that I am excited to pick up is one that releases on March 26th and that is by my girl Oprah. 
she's dropping a new book called the path made clear and i think it has like a subtitle too like how to find your life purpose or something or another like that recently when i was curating my uh tbr for the month of february which i will talk about in a later video it occurred to me that i've never read anything that oprah has written so i'm really excited to get my hands on this all you need to know is it's oprah Oprah, you know, she knows things. So is she gonna drop a book? I'm going to read it. it comes out on March 26th. By the time this video gets posted, this one will have already came out. It released on January 8th. It is called Black Enough. I am so excited about this anthology. I think it's Black Enough, the story of being like black in America or something like that. It doesn't even matter. I saw the cover, I read like, who all was going to be in the book and I was like oh I need this I need it I need it but it has a little bit of everybody in there it has Danielle Clayton um Ibi Zabo I think she's the person that did the forward or the um edited the book okay I don't know what's going on outside but y'all please just ignore that noise in the background one second somebody's literally in the middle of moving right now so just ignore that. As I was saying about the Black Enough anthology, Lisa Bow did the edits. People like Daniel Clayton, Nick Stone. Who else? Oh, J. Coles. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like, I'm beside myself with excitement. Another book I'm anticipating that releases on February 5th is Blood Witch by Susan Denard. Susan Dennard. I never know how to pronounce her last name. But this is the third book in the Truth Witch series. I really enjoy these because I find the magic system to be totally unique. I like how high the stakes are. I like how you get to see multiple elements that you like in here. Sometimes like they're at sea, other times they're in different countries. It does a great bridging of like magic, then their religious systems. You get to see like tribes and stuff in the desert. It's just a number of elements. You get to see family elements a lot, relationship elements, just so many different elements. The next one, I I am so excited about this purely based off of the cover so I'll just go ahead and insert that somewhere on the screen like y'all my heart when I saw the cover of this I was like oh I need to read this I think I saw it when I was watching the most anticipated 2019 video from downright bookish and I saw the cover and I was like why do I not know about this I need to read it. It follows this main character, Queenie, who's growing up in London. She's in her mid-20s and she just got out of like a bad relationship. So throughout the story, you see her kind of like coping with that, but she's also making like ill-advised decisions because of the mental state that she is in from this breakup. So you kind of get to see her navigating life after that situation. And I really am so excited to read this because Honestly, I, the cover, I love the cover, I'm not gonna lie. This one comes out March 19th. The next book I'm excited about is of course another fantasy and I'm not even gonna say a lot about this one because it sold me almost immediately. This book is an adult fantasy. I can't remember if I have ever or the last time I've read an adult fantasy book, but this book is called Black Leopard Red Wolf. It just keeps being described as African version of Game of Thrones. It takes place in Africa and it's similar to Game of Thrones. Like that's all I need to hear. And this one comes out in February as well. The next book is yet another February release. That would be The Gilded Wolves by Rashani Shashki. I'm really excited about this one for two reasons. First of all, I think it's like a heist series. I love that type of element, so this is good for fans of Gentleman's Bastards, Ocean's 13, Ocean's 8, or Six of Crows. But it takes place in like 1889 in Paris. We're going to be in Paris in the 1800s with a heist crew. Oh, um, yeah. Cannot wait to read that. My most, my most, my most anticipated read for 2019. The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown. I cannot believe my best friend's book is finally coming out this year omg i am beyond excited about this for so many reasons the cover has not been revealed yet i think india has seen it but the public hasn't seen it yet so just 
It's not going to be inserted here. I have to make a whole separate video on this. Like I can't even articulate the level of excitement that I have. We've always been like writers even before she decided that she was going to write a novel. So have like a best friend that also does like booktube and that's also into writing like you and who has been like writing their whole lives and you both have been writing your whole lives. It's just always been like this instant connection. I've read all of the novels that she has written and I have had the opportunity to be a beta reader and do some edits and stuff except for this book this is the only novel by India that I have not read which is why I am beyond excited for the book release it was really the first time where I just did not even have a time to to read it so she sent me like a few chapters when she first started working on it and I never even had the opportunity to read those because I was just so busy while she was writing this novel and I basically decided that I'm not going to read this ahead of time. I want the full fan experience. Well actually I might read it a little bit ahead of time because I want to make candles. Yeah I'm definitely going to do candles. I'll leave a link down to my bookish candle shop below. The book comes out November 5th. It's a middle grade novel. It follows these two best friends. It's about people of color and it has a lot of good historical aspects mixed in. It has some spooky elements. Like I said I'll make a whole video on it but most anticipated read for the year like okay okay I'm gonna calm myself down the forgotten girl by India Hill Brown November 5th those are all of my anticipated reads for the year I will leave a link down to all of the books I mentioned Goodreads pages below any of these books books that you're anticipating what are y'all reading this year like, I want to know I want to know what people are excited about don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the book archer and I will see y'all in my next video bye